welcome back to my channel welcome back to banter with francisca you are seeing this video for the very first time my name is francisca so my co subscribers you guys are welcome thank you for always watching my videos and if you know you are just coming across this channel for the very first time welcome 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 please do me well to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification so that you will be notified whenever i post a new video like my video share and subscribe and also drop a comment on your thoughts on my videos okay so on this channel at for now i talk about house me stuff my life just hair hair mostly hair stuff but mostly i was talking about house me stuff and i said because i can't do much around me i'm saying this because of the people that are just coming across my video for the very first time okay so on this video i was talking about my family and friends reaction of me coming to oman to come and work as a house maid. So on my last video, I talked about how I came here, the risk I took if it was worth taking that kind of risk, and also if I'm regretting it or if I'm not regretting it. So if you know you have not watched that video, go and watch the video. So on today's video, I'm talking about my family's and friends' reaction and if I am happy being in this place. Okay. So yeah, when I came here. My family was really happy. Okay, let me just say their own part of the story. Before, when I came here, after preparing myself, I was working in Nigeria as a teacher in a private school. Yeah, I was working there, do the payments. To some extent, it was okay because I was not only really doing teaching job, I was also doing home lesson and also making hairs during the weekend. And maybe if we have holidays, I would just make hair and get some money there. But I needed more money as someone that cannot depend on anybody, that cannot go about asking people for help. So I needed more for myself. So I told the principal that they are like the person that was managing the school that I was working for I just lied to her God forgive me <laughs> so she understood now though so I lied to her I thought I was going for camp in church today this couple she was like oh auntie please you know I cannot leave this school for anyone else except you it's not as if there was no bigger person there like someone that was assisting her before I came to that school someone was there but it's just like she see me as someone that she can talk to like she can just put the school on her hand and go out and really that period she really needed me because her child was okay let me not say it is not my story to tell so if she really needed my help because she was taking her child for checkup and all that so when i thought that i won't be coming to school on monday that i'll be going to camp on saturday morning in Lagos, and i'll be coming back on monday evening so definitely on tuesday i will resume school <laughs> that was what i told her though so long story short, we finally analyzed everything and she allowed me to go. She said, yeah, since I'm the kind of person that allowed me to church, she won't deprive me from that. So that was how I went. Then uh when I get here, when I go to this place and I called her when I finally settled in. I did not settle in immediately I got here. I think that night, when I got here that night, I called her. I got here, I think was it on Wednesday. I left on Sunday. Then I got, I thought that I would be coming to work on Tuesday, which I did not. Then on Wednesday, yeah, it was on Wednesday night that I got, that I called her. Yeah, on Wednesday night that I called her. I told her that, ah, oh, man, I'm not, so when she saw the number, she was like, ah, who be this one, nah? So I said, ah, auntie, it's me, or who? Auntie Franka, then she shouted, I said, oh, my God, now you do me this one, like, why would I just go without telling her, they don't let her know that I was traveling, like, it's not funny, that she will miss me, like, you know, this kind of talk. So she almost cried, though. <laughs> she almost cried. And me too, I miss her a lot. Even up to today, I still miss her. Auntie, if you're watching this video, I miss you. <laughs> so, I miss her a lot. Then she was like, call your sister, they came to look for you in school. She said, my sister, they came to look for me, like, they said they have been calling my number, my number, just how many days, those people, they cannot do with that thing. <laughs> so, that they called me, that my number was not going through, that I should please call them and let them know where I am. So I said, okay, but I don't want to call them now, I want to settle down first because I just got to this place. She was like, no, it was not making sense, I should call them. So, I called my sister, I called her, she was like, eh, so you travel, you did not tell me. They were angry with me, oh, hmm, those people, two weeks. Two weeks they did not talk to me, they were keeping me a <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, oh God, it's funny now, but then it was not funny to me. So two weeks, they did not talk to me. They said because I did not tell them, I did not see them as someone that I can talk to them. I just said, I don't want to bother you people. I don't want to stress you people because seriously, coming here was not even easy for me. The process, looking for money for passport, like it was not that easy, but I just have to do what I did then. So I talked to them and they were like, after two weeks, I think they get over it. And my other sister was like, eh, you know, say, you know, they like the papers or something. At least, like, let me use it. She said, you know, you don't like telling someone or something, but at least this kind of thing, she'll share it with us, and I will be happy with you, and also support you one way or the other. And I said, okay, it's fine. I'm already here now, so you need all you guys need to do is just to pray for me, for God to help me and see me through. So back then, most of my friends, I did not tell them. If up to now, there are some of my friends that I did not tell, like, because we're not, I don't just see it like I should tell them, but I have other friends that are so close to me that I called and I told them why they have some of my friends that we planned it together. Like they, from the very beginning that I came to this place, they understood. I just chatted them. This is what I wanted. Some of them who supported me with money, why some to now? I didn't bother telling them because I just said that your friends <laughs> So they do hear it from gossip, they do hear it from other people's mouth, and they accepted it like that. So you just have to accept it, you don't get choice. Yes, I said so. <laughs> so so that was how it happened. So most of them were angry at me that I did not tell them, like I just traveled like that, like they don't mention. So I let them understand that you know something that I could share at that point in time. And really this story, I've not really shared it with too much people. I just kept it to myself for a very long time so so that was how i told them yeah my father did i call my dad mm, no i did not call my dad i told my dad i think it took me close to three months or so but the day i the, when i came here i did not come to my boss house direct i stayed with the lady that brought me here should i call her my agent yeah, the process that brought me here, I just, just called my agent though. So I stayed with her. Then the following day, my boss came to pick me from her house and bring me back to this place because she lived in Moscow. To me, I don't live in Moscow. So she, my boss brought me here. So that night, my boss asked me to call my dad. So I was just, it's like I cannot call him. I don't want to call him. And he was like, you have to call your family member that you are here. You have to call them. So I pick up this one. He gave me son's phone rather. I called my dad, I just greeted him. Even the younger said, he didn't even know. <laughs> my dad, it's not actually that man is that old, though, but he couldn't even notice that that was the international number that I was using to call him. He couldn't even pick any, any, uh, like, I don't know, any uh, notice of anything. So I was so happy. Like, I was so happy that he never understood it. I was well, like, I just called him no matter to greet him as usual. But after three months, you know, I finally settled in, do some kind of payment. You know, I paid my agent fees and all that. So after all those, I know that I've already settled down financially, kind of not stable, but I don't know. <laughs> but I know that I was kind of stable as of to some certain extent that I could contact him. Then I have to let him know that I am no longer. In Nigeria, even though he has already started hearing gossip, not from my mouth, from other people's mouth, he was started. He was already feeling suspicious about everything, but still, not still, I still have to tell him with my mouth. So I told him, and he accepted it, and he prayed for me, and that was all. So there was no like any bad feelings, any angry reaction from my dad. So we are just cool. Another, the other family members like my cousins, my uncles, they started hearing about the information. So we're happy. So also some, you know, I don't know, but I believe all of them were happy for me. <laughs> all of them were happy for me. So for me, am I happy being here? Yes and no. Hmm. I'm happy and I'm not happy. Yeah. I'm happy being here and I'm not happy being here. So that is just if you want me to start giving details about me happy being here or me not happy. Maybe I will do it in the next video because this video is already long and I don't like my video is too long, so but I am sure happy that I am here. So, to, to some extent, I'm not happy. The reason why I'm happy is that I have overcome a lot of things. Yeah, I have overcome a lot of things. There, there was a point in my life, or there was some stage in my life where I regretted it badly. Like, I totally regretted it for coming here at a point. But now, I just like. 
I will like be regretting. I beg, it's my decision. I decided to make this decision for myself. So I don't regret that much as before. And I am more happier here than before when I came here early. So that is it. That is all I can say for now. Yeah, for now. That is all I can say. So I hope you like and enjoy this video. If you do so, turn on the notifications so that you notify whenever I post. You will be the first to once I just post video bank account and you go just send for your notification say Francisca don't post video or bank out Francisca has posted the video. Then you will come and watch and subscribe, please guys, please, please <laughs> subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> like, share and comment. Okay. Thank you guys for watching and see you in my next video. Bye. Love you all.